Noxus Black Rose versus the Ionia Blade Dancers. We're here in Champ Select, and the bands are coming down. I'm Kev, and I'm here with Valoran hello. and Tupac Hadno GA. How's it going? Hello, hello. It's going great. Uh, and, you know, already a ton to talk about just looking at these bands. Anything that sticks out to you so far? I will say, I don't... Uh, are these bands in order? Because um, um, that doesn't matter. Normally they... Oh, yeah, they are. They're, they're doing it right. Okay, so they're... Th this is how the picks went down in the draft, I think. So we're seeing, you know, an emulation of the, the draft, basically. So anyway, any, any early thoughts? Um, well, once the picks come through, we haven't seen everything. But uh, let's see. Brizan does have unbannable Tom Kench. So that's coming in. Uh, no unbannables from the Nox's Black Rose over on blue side. But they do get that Comfort Hecarim on Cathan, which is pretty expected. Yeah, I will say one quick note for the Noxus Black Rose. They actually have a sub in the mid lane. Um, oh, yeah. Normally, you know, Avion would be playing there, but they have Jay Wiz, who, you know, played in the league last season. Uh, so he's going to be filling in for them there. The picks aren't actually in the same order. Just, just you know, just so everybody knows, I think they they picked an early Thresh on blue side instead of the, uh, the Kale. Um, yeah, I thought mm -hmm. it was kind of interesting. Uh, on red side, they actually blind picked their mid lane on uh, R1. So picking Oriana, it's a very safe lane, but I don't know if I'd blind pick it, especially on red side. You could save the mid lane for R5 and get a good counter counter matchup rather than blinding the or saving the jungle for last pick. Uh, Draven, yeah. Draven pick is my favorite thing ever. I asked Nolan to pick it, and I'm glad that he did. <laughs> uh, so I will say about that early uh, Oriana pick, I think that was just kind of how the champ pool came down. For a jellyfish in the mid lane there. Um, yeah, with the Lux ban and the Velkaz. Because band. Lux and Velkaz, you know, rarely banned. So I think they kind of just pinched into, you know, one of the other strong champs that she has. And I think she feels comfortable on that Oriana. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think you're totally right. You know, what what was their. Um, I think their last pick was actually Trundle. So I don't know if that was intended, you know, probably not intended to be a counter pick, just like a strong pick that Richard Nixon probably wanted into their comp. Yeah, it's really strong because. Uh... You notice on the blue side, they have, like, no dashes. So one good pillar can just completely catch out someone with, like, a Nautilus Q, Orion alt. They're just caught. If they get to objectives first, and the other team has to walk into them, I'm pretty sure they'll win, like, 90% of the fights. But it just depends on positioning and who gets the tempo. Yeah, I'll also say, um, you know, I, I do think that Tom Kench is a very strong champion. Uh, I think it's a pretty hard lane for Kale. Uh, but I don't, I don't, I don't really think they're too worried um, up there because that's kind of a, you know, there's like kind of a skill difference in the top lane there uh, that I think they're gonna try to capitalize on. Just putting Blade in on something that scales and, you know, mm -hmm. knowing that like he's not really gonna get punished as hard as maybe he could. Um, I think they'll be okay with that. Yeah, you know? they, they kind of. But have I will a... say that that is a hard matchup. Uh, they have, like, two avenues here. Either Draven gets really ahead and you can't deal with him, or you have Victor Kale for your insurance. Like, you can kind of play however you want on the uh, blue side there. I will say if they if they are able to, you know, shut Draven down, make sure that he doesn't get, uh, you know, get any cash-ins and, and kind of keep him suppressed, uh, a lot of them damage, aside from Draven, is magic damage, right? Like, Kale and, and Victor. Um, yeah, and so, Draven into three tanks is really, really hard. Yeah. Like, he's uh, he's not going to do that much to Tom Ken. She's not going to do that much to Trundle. He's not going to do that much to Nautilus. He's really going to try to pop Ori Zaya as fast as possible, but mid-game, you have Zanya's on Ori, you have Ult on Zaya, and maybe even a Gale Force or a, or a uh, Lifeline. And I would not be super happy as Draven here. How do you guys feel about the just the straight, you know, bot lane two v two? That's fine. I think uh, Slide of the Fox is going to have a hard time being super aggressive on Zaya. Zaya plays backwards more than forwards. She's not like Samira, um, and I think Nautilus into Draven is good. Uh, Draven E doesn't stop the Nautilus hook from pulling, and you can just easily target him down with the Nautilus ult. So. I think skill matchup, but slightly, as far as champs are concerned, I would prefer the Zaya Nautilus, 
but as far as champs plus pilots, still slight edge to Nolbe. Yeah, so what I'm thinking, like uh, for jungle matchup wise, I think Hecarim should be pathing uh, top to bottom to try to get his Draven and Thresh rolling, while Trundle, he should be top, pathing like top. You want to shut down that Kale before she gets level 6, because like once she gets range, she's just such a safer champion, and you want to punish that. So just being able to get like a few ganks off with like Trundle Pillar and Tom Kench, get the flash early, just dive him if you need be, mm -hmm. I think that's the best best way to play it. Alright. Uh, how do you think Hecarim in general does into their, their team comp? Um, it's gonna be hard for him to, like, engage, just because, like, Trundle, Nautilus, like, if he engages without, like, communicating, like, with his team, he's just gonna get popped, and then it's gonna be a 4v5, and they have to have really good communication, unless Thresh has a good lantern to get him out, just in case. Right. Yeah, yeah when... and I actually think, sorry, go ahead. I, I was just gonna say, like, when you have, you know, Zaya, Tom Kench, like, Zaya self-peel and Tom Kench able to just pull anybody out, it, it might be hard to get picks. Yeah, and, and I think, you know, you kind of touched on communication there, and I I really, in my eyes, it, this is going to be the important part of this game, is I think if you kind of look at the teams on paper, you know, there's a clear uh, kind of side that is favored. Um, but knowing what I know of these teams and, you know, kind of just just how, how you see these teams play together, I think that, um, that the Ionia Blade Dancers play really well together, and they... Um, and they communicate really well together in game. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think if, you know, if there's a, a path for them to, to to have a strong game here, it's probably with that, you know, uh, with Trundle kind of like being in the right places and and them having like good communication and, and just working well as a team. Whereas I think on, you know, the Black Rose side, they just have really good players, right? Like you, you can win two, three lanes and then just kind of snowball that. There's also the fact that, uh, you know, on Black Rose's side, they don't have their mid laner. You know, you're you're playing with kind of an unknown. I don't know that they've played with J-Wiz at all. Right. Anyway, we are That's true. in the game now. 30 seconds in. Do you think we're going to see anything crazy level one? There is five top going against a Kale with Nautilus possibly getting the snare, the root. There it is. We'll see if Bladen flashes over the wall. I think he just takes the death here with a flash forward from... Who was it? Who was it? It was Nautilus. Right. All right, well, one kill on the board. That was some great early action. I, we don't normally see like stuff like that, I think, mm -hmm. uh, in the Pentakill League. Yep. I don't know that there's been a... Has there been an early kill yet in the first two weeks? I don't believe so, right? And a pause. <laughs> okay. Well... Plenty That's of fine. time to talk. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, uh, we don't normally see stuff like that happen. Um, I think teams tend to be a little bit, you know, scared of, like, making a mistake super early or, like, mm -hmm. you know, an invade gone bad and you give up some free kills and then you're starting a game from, like, the back foot. Uh, yeah, that's exciting, though. I'm, I'm glad they went for it. The, the kill went on to the Tom Kench, which is huge, right? Like, it's already a lane that he should be doing well in. Uh, and that's that's just gonna get him, you know, further ahead. Yeah. It's also nice that uh, like this is kind of smart by uh, Bladen, is he saved his flash because if if Trundle found out that he flashed, he's gonna perma gank top until that flash cooldowns up. You know what I'm saying? Just perma just camping because there's no escape. You pillar, you W with Kench, you're done. You know, no chance. For sure. But but with Nautilus flash being down, this actually makes the gank a little easier for the the Hecarim because now with Thresh he could flash E lantern Hecarim in get the gank off pretty easily. So that's a little scary to watch out for. Yeah. Another thing, uh, you know, to kind of touch on what you were saying earlier about the pathing, I think it looks like Hecarim's going to start bot side. Um, I, I would assume. Uh, you, you were saying that he should maybe path down, starting mm -hmm. blue side. Um, that's really scary, isn't it? If, if they both path up, and then it's, you know, you get in a 2v2 or, you know, you get in a scuttle fight with your lane being like Kale Hecarim versus like, Tom Kench Trundle, right? There's like no yeah, way you win you against win the two. right, exactly. So, <laughs> so even more of a reason, right, to, to kind of path down there for sure. Uh, did the game unpause? For you I guys? got I the know. unpause, but it's frozen. Okay, that's fine. I I think that normally happens. So yeah, I'm sure it'll be okay. Uh, we while we're here, uh, we can take a look at runes. Uh, just kind of, I, I don't know if there's anything super unusual. Maybe the. The Trundle does not always take that... Uh, Kale Blades? Yeah. I, I, I think I've seen Lethal There's Temple. also... Maybe that's... 
first strike on Zaya is also interesting. He's probably going uh, lethality Zaya, uh, but typically you see Aerie with lethality, lethality Zaya getting that Q poke. So that'll be interesting to see. Uh, last game, Solid Fox actually played the Zaya as well, and he got a bunch of kills. I think it was the same build, or the same rune setup at, at least, mm -hmm. so we'll see if he can replicate that success. But you can a definitely get a lot of uh, Q poke, yeah. From the Ionia Blade Dancers. So Hecarim's actually starting uh, Raptors here. Hmm. And then I think he might three buff or just three camp into bot, or he just can go clear his top jungle. It's kind of weird pathing if he does go top jungle, which is kind of like a a wasted time it seems. Right. So do you guys think uh, Hecarim's main priority here is to go help Kale, see if uh, see if she, he can get her back into the game a little bit and and ease that burden, or just try to help Draven get ahead? I think he just has to be weak side warrior, top side. Yeah. It is what it is. You pick Kale, you know what you're going into, you know? <laughs> right. And it's just scary. It's so scary to end up in a fight. I mean, look, Tom Kench just, even when he gets ganked, Some sometimes aggression, he just the kills hook, people. It misses. All right. Yeah, like, Tom Kench has a lot of, like, dueling potential, you know? And sometimes he gets ganked, and it's it's even scary for the jungler, you know? Yep. So, I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know that. I don't know that a, a fight up there is the best thing ever for Hecarim. Um, yeah, we'll see what Hecarim does down here. I mean, the lane is pushing into them, right? Yeah, so. there's a hook, though, that connects for the Nautilus. Really good, they are getting a hook okay. back with the yeah. Thresh. Draven's oh. getting a lot of damage down. Hecarim's here. He charges oh. in. They've got the Ignite <laughs> that's ticking, and Draven gets the second kill of the game. Not a lot of stacks so pop, but, you know, you like it. And... You know, just to call back to what we were talking about a little bit ago, that flash, super crucial. Uh, you know, the, the Nautilus flash was down from the level one, yep. and they punished him for it, so. Mm -hmm. And he goes immediately mid lane, forces the flash on Ori. Yeah, yeah Hecarim's and, getting a know, ton of work done. A Trundle doing what is expected, right? As soon as the Hecarim shows bot side, just taking the whole top side or attempting to. I don't know mm -hmm. how much he's going to get here. Um, but Hecarim's yeah. on the way, and Kale's there. Kale's going to come uh, check it. They might yeah, just so fight over the scuttle. Here. It's a little scary. He can uh, contest in front of him. Yeah, for sure. Smart of him to just walk away, for sure. And now he's going to go to bot scuttle? But this Another is hook scary. connects oh. bot lane. Zaya has to flash now. Okay. They're still tangling. Uh, the ignite pops on Draven. He flashes away. Flashes that little thumbs up emote. We'll see if the uh, Nautilus hook comes back up. Nope. Yeah, two I seconds. I think back. two or three seconds until yeah. that Nautilus hook but came back up. So. <laughs> the the Hecarim is just hovering around bot here. They might try to go in. Nope, the hook goes wide. Oh, wow. The hook from Nautilus comes back. There's so many hooks in this bot lane. It's just hook one, hook two, hook three. All right, so this is a little scary for Hecarim. He's kind of lost tempo. He showed that he was going to bot side, so Trundle actually went back into his top side, took his gromp, and took his wolves. And he didn't really get anything out of that. He got uh, the uh, scuttle, but now he has to reset. He's probably just gonna go bot side again. And look at the value of that one kill on Tom Kench. He's he's down in CS like a lot. Oh, have nice little here. gank. We'll see if he flashes. Gets yeah. pillared. Oh, slips right oh. past, but double flash after him. I don't think he gets away here. The crunch gets nice. him. Nice gank. Yeah. Definitely posturing really aggressively for an early game Kale. I mean, I, I really like what Richard Nix is doing here in the Trundle. I think, like, it, unfortunate, right, that your bot lane, um, you know, took that death. Mm -hmm. Obviously, partly, mostly due, I guess, to, to Nautilus not having flash up from the level one. Um, but, you know, he made the best of it, right? He, he got his whole top side. He k killed the Kale again. So, yeah, I, 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 I really mm -hmm. like, uh, you know, getting stuff done on the other side of the map. Yeah, now jungles up, tops up, and uh, you know, bot's not looking horrible. Draven's up one. Draven is up one kill, but they've got the CS equalized. They also did get the flash on Draven um, mm -hmm. in one of the fights earlier, so maybe we can see. You know, now, now that the Trundle's ahead, maybe we can see some presence from the Trundle and try to maybe get that lane back in Ionia's favor. Hey, that's and also, also flashes up too. So you just hop on in, call in the trundle, just no no response to it. Yeah, because if you get the uh, the Nautilus hook trundle pillar, that gives Zaya enough time to get her feathers down, get a nice root. And if he gets rooted by Zaya, I think it's just game over for Draven. And uh, Trundle's going to actually do dragon here. He's starting it. 
so this is kind of a weird dragon. Uh, they're they're really fighting on the Draven. He gets up. rooted. The TP's coming down. Big cluster fudge of a fight. Uh, the Tom Kench is here doing some damage on the Hecarim. It's just Zaya's dead. Heck, oh, Tom Kench is still going Ooh. in. We'll see if Draven can pick anything up. He might get the Nautilus here. Nautilus flashes away. Another TP from Kale. Richard Nixon's trying to run away, but gives it up to Draven. They might be able to pick up the kill on the Tom Kench. He gets knocked aside. And the Flay. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And there he goes. The minions don't let him run in a straight line. So, what? Three kills for uh, Nox's Black Rose here? Yeah, Not I great. think they just traded the Hecarim. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, they didn't I get mean, the dragon. Yeah. All of that because they, they tried to force the Drake. It's, yeah, that was a really weird dragon timer. There was no reason. It's funny because I think the, the Hecarim didn't even need to die there. I think there was like a, a, a lantern out from the Thresh, and he just wasn't able to click it. So, you know, could have gone even better for them. But yeah, I think they'll... They'll definitely take that. Uh, let's look at the mid lane just for a little bit because, um, you know, I don't, I don't think... Like oh, a big Oriole. As you say that, she's going to walk forward. She's got no mana, just auto attack. Victor flashes forward, ults her back. Oh, wow. And that's all she wrote. Meanwhile, red team getting the dragon. Yeah. I mean, so I was going to say up until that happened, you know, Oriana had a pretty commanding lead on that. Yeah, one. 20 CS lead. It was looking good. Yeah, that, that was looking really good. Um you know, just didn't have the mana to, to complete the fight yep. out there. No mana, no flash. And some and you, I, I, I think for for the Noxus Black Rose, it's kind of like what you can really just expect from like a sub mid laner. You know what I mean? Tom Kench is starting to go in on Kale here. Gets her with the uh, tongue lash, just auto attacking her to half HP. And then backing up. Yeah, Ops did not eat her there. She does have the ultimate. So she probably would have been okay. Yeah, she has the ult. She's up in CS. Like here comes, here comes Kathan, galloping up to the top lane. We'll see if uh, he gets that gray health pop. Well, this is not his way up. We still have small. Kale ult. I think Tom tries to turn here. Doesn't even pop oh. the gray health and just dies. Trundle coming in. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he attacks so fast. <laughs> yeah. He slaps that club real quick. Yeah, that's the uh, hail of blades, right? Yeah. Giving you the three quick attacks. Yeah, he puts down W, gets Hail Blade proc, and is just whack, whack, whack. And then crunch for an auto cancel as well. So you can get four in there really quick. So I think blue side saw that Nautilus was top side. They actually might go for a dive on Zaya here. Yep. She's got the ult still, so she ults pretty late. I don't think she'll be able to do anything. And Draven picks her up with the recast on the R. She does pick up the Thresh to the tower, but... Uh, I think they're okay with that. I mean, getting a Draven three kills. He's got a fat bounty on his head, and he's up in CS. He's he's pretty happy. Yeah, definitely. Gang Especially from like Trundle top XP. now. Sorry to interrupt. She's just going to die, just trying to get as much CS as possible to shove in that wave as she goes down. She's up and 75 just, to 40. Just kind of the, the theme here from the, from Blade and I'm Kill is like, if you know you're going to die, just don't use any cooldowns, yep. right? That might help you in the future. Doesn't right. he, Ops not even ult there. Doesn't ult, doesn't um, flash, think, nothing. Ooh. Well, the flash wasn't even out there. Joe goes yeah, for an I, ult I, and I goes wide. She is still trying to get the kill. Flashes away from the ult. Thresh is coming to roam. He flashes hook. She dodges the hook. Is she going to get the last auto attack? She doesn't. And Victor walks away. And you can hear Jill typing right now. She said, if that was Avion, he would have died. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> All right. Uh, subs coming in clutch for Noxus Black Rose. <laughs> yeah, what a what an action-packed early game. I think. Now we'll see if uh, uh, bot lanes starting to get converged on. We've got Hecarim looking. We've seen we're seeing pings. Ooh, see it. Oh wow! Ops to use the Nautilus ult really early, and Zaya with no ult just goes down. There's a TP mid. They are trying to fight. There's Shelly on one side, a bunch of people on the other. Victor goes down. They're trying to follow the kill now. Man, action all around. Game started off kind of slow. Camera wasn't moving around too much, but uh, it's going it's going wild now. I think this is one of our most action-packed games um, yeah. so far in the Pentacle League. Normally, we'll see like an early... Hey, kill's a little late. Team. She's jumping over. She's feeling herself, but Trundle's on the way. We might... She doesn't have ult. She has to flash this time. She actually uses it. Here comes the teleport. The trundle pillar oh, still oh. holding. 
He's oh, just auto attacking. <laughs> we'll see who gets to auto attack the fastest. And a flash from Tom Kench to take her down. Oh, wow. They finally forced Kale to use the sums. That's very hard to get away from. Tom yeah. Kench trundle. Yeah, they yeah got that you know, normally power. we don't see like a ton of early kills, I think, in our pentakill games. Um, I think once the kills start, you know. They, yeah, they snowball they one way for sure. But, you know, normally we don't. You know, sometimes we'll go like a couple minutes without the first kill, and this 10 minutes in, we've got 16 kills, right? right? Total, so. Another thrush gank on mid. Jill's still up in CS. She down in kills, but she's got the CS. This Draven's starting to look scary. He's got the uh, the lifeline passive on the old shield bow ready, and they're switching him top because they got that butt tower. So I think this kind of game state is a little bit unfortunate for there goes uh trundle pillar they're going really aggressive puts the ball on trundle let's see if there's a ult from oriana gets two they're at half hp they're not doing too much anymore they just pick up the kill on trundle who was possibly going in a little too quick the follow-up yeah. was not there i was i was just gonna say that this game state is a little bit unfortunate for ionia because you know there's a kill on the other team right and Yep. Obviously, like an early game kill versus an early game Tom Kench, you definitely have an advantage there. But I think the Draven is just so strong right now that it's hard to, you know, it's hard to look for stuff. Um, yep. I think it's just really scary to be up against that Draven right now. Well, Draven does not like to fight Tom Kench. We'll see if they can actually 1v1 here. And uh, Draven is winning. Forces that gray health pop, <laughs> forces it twice actually, uses the ult under tower. But. The Ionian Blade Dancers do pick up their second Drake of the game. Man, Nobe's going really aggressive here. Tom Kench is trying to feel a little spicy, but Thresh is here to save the day and feed Draven yet another kill. I feel like if uh, Nautilus and uh, Tom Kench can actually get on the Draven, there's not going to be much he could do unless he gets more kills because he won't be able to shred him. Like, the CC will just destroy mm -hmm. him. He doesn't have Merc Dreads. He has no CC, like, immunity. So If, if they're able to slow down the game, I definitely agree. It's uh, it's really hard against the triple tanks. They're fighting over Shelly now. A big, oh. big ult from uh, from the old horsey Warsey. Trundle's trying to get away. Draven flashes after him for the kill. Nautilus goes down as well. Oriana out of mana. Can't do anything one more time. So funny, actually. Uh, Trundle actually doesn't have flash. So n nobody thought he did, so he had a flash to him before he could flash over the wall, but realistically, he was just trapped. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, blue side gets the Rift Herald. We'll see where they want to drop it. Yeah. I, I also think... Oh, man. <laughs> Tom Kent's <laughs> trying again? Yeah. You guys don't get to talk. It's, it's only me this game. Uh, yeah, so just real quick. Uh, the soul is Chemtech. Right, and I think if you're on Ionia, that's that that's gotta feel bad. <laughs> Draven's trying to fight. Ooh, he eats, has to pop the great shield. Thresh is still there, throws him almost in the tower range, pops the lifeline, does not pick him up. We'll see if Draven. Oh. Draven's got his ult so so soon. Hey, direct the camera. Fuck you. Put me back in the top lane. Thank you. Thank you. They're just gonna run away. So right now, I think Nautilus should be playing towards the Tom Kench. you got to play towards your strong side when you support. Like, it feels bad. ADC is 1 and 3. That's It's the ADC rule, you know what I'm saying? Like, they only get useful in mid-game sometimes. So just playing on your strong link. Like, if it's a 3v3 and you have playing strong side, I think that's the only way you could actually come back in this game. Yeah, it's it's really hard when you're faced with a 6-0 and o Draven who's got two items. It's, uh, you're not, like, the team's just not tanky enough yet. And here's another gank from Trundle. Drops the pillar on the victor. Oriana has to flash away from that death storm or whatever it's called. Trundle's still trying to go in. He's trying to delay for the rest of the team to get away. Kale comes in. They're just going to take down that Nautilus. Oh, Draven goes wide. Does not get the Ori. But they will get this first tower, drop Herald, and possibly, possibly get the T2. Yeah, I, I, it's, you know... After this T2, being, they're, they're going to be up, like, 10k gold at uh, 15 right. minutes. Right, you're, you're very far behind 15 minutes in, and yeah. you're into a chem soul. Yep, there goes the horsey. Tom Kench can't really do anything but survive a little bit. Zaya's trying to get the pull. She does get a fat three-man root, seeing if they can get anything in return. But Draven is just so killing them left and right. Uh, a nice hook connects on Draven, but there's no follow-up. They have nothing... And Kale is now on the board 
just swinging wildly. It is hard for the Blade Dancers. For sure. Yeah, so at this point, I think Draven had too much breathing room. Uh, you just have to send everything on him. This their only win, con well, not their only win condition, but one of their biggest win conditions. So just focusing more of that, like early to mid game, just like pressuring him, I think would be like one of the biggest, biggest I mean, aspects of them. Just looking at the fights, it's also really hard because Thresh is peeling for him pretty well. Yeah, like Thresh is and not as, going and deep a at all. As well. Yeah, and, and as the game goes further, it's not just going to be Draven. That's mm -hmm. the damage problem. You know, it's it's the the victor. There we go. Out and the level damage. nine Trundle versus level eleven Kale. Who's cool gonna win? Them. He has to flash, flash, but he gets the okay. Q. Chomps are down. <laughs> Gets that kill. Kale is not up yet. The timer is still ticking on her power. Poor Tom's getting Man. bullied. Yeah. All right. One minute for the next Drake. And unfortunately, Look at our that CS difference in the top lane. Our Drake That's timer graphic is broken because Riot has not put the Chem Drake graphic in the game yet. Oh my God! Look at that damage from Draven. And the Collector comes in, gives him a little bit of extra damage on top there to pick up his 10th kill. That's a lot. I, th I think actually the only only the second player this season so far with that 10-0 scoreline. Who is the um, other one? Balthazar666. Oh, that's right. How could I forget? 10-0 on, on the victor. On yes, the victor. Well, course. Brizan's feeling himself. He's trying to... <laughs> we're saying victor. He's like, victor, let's go get him. <laughs> but uh, the dust storm comes down, and he's got to run away. Trundle, I feel like, has been everywhere on this map. He's just going. Yeah. Definitely a bright spot for, for Ionia, right? But because like, they just saw the Trundle, they can just start that Kendrake. Trundle also, you know... Maybe the only character right now that can one v one some of the, yeah. some of the champions on um, on Noxus. I mean, the saving grace is that they're not going to get soul very soon. You know, Blade Dancers yeah. do have two dragons. They've I mean, got th that those two Drakes kind of prolong the game for them for sure, right? Like maybe they don't lose as fast because mm -hmm. um, you know they don't get the early soul, but it's still hard, right? Like they, yeah. they don't really have any map. Yeah, pressure. Uh, 11k Legends down. Are, 11k yeah. gold down before 20 minutes is really, really hard. I mean, it's inflated because Draven has a lot of kills, you know? Like, he, he right. adds a lot of gold oh. from Collector and his passive, but <laughs> gold is gold. Is like, it, is, I mean, ha half of the lead is right there, right? Yeah. Half of the lead is Draven. Um, so. Oh, man. That's rough. Yeah, the, the Baron... The next thing that he, the uh, Noxus Black Rose are going to be looking at. And, you know, being this far ahead, it kind of gives you the luxury of not, you know, they're not, they're not really going to contest you for Baron, right? At this point, I yeah. think if you die at Baron, you lose your entire base pretty much. Um, so, you know, I, I don't, I don't think there's a whole lot of, uh, oh my God. Ooh, a hook rift. comes out, but that's a rift. Yeah. It's not even Baron. Yeah, it's not We're even Baron. Minutes in. We're, we've got 30 <laughs> seconds Baron. to Baron. There's no Baron. Just Rift. Ooh, Nautilus forces a flash <laughs> out on uh, Thresh I mean, there. I mean, this is what these action pack games will do to you, right? Like, we're only 19 minutes in, and there's just been so much happening. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, it's pretty wild. Are, are they point, gonna are they like, gonna fight for a uh, Baron on spawn? They're they're dropping so much vision around it. And Tom Kench so trying again against the victor. He he goes in. He's already half HP. Has to pop the gray health. Nautilus comes in. Ults gets the Oriole. Bait. Let's see if it's they get the bait. kill. There it is on the Oriana. That's exactly where you want it. They are fighting in the jungle now around that uh, Chemdrake vision. A nice route from a sly little fox. Ori's here. She does not have this the ult. A, a nice not little bad. Nautilus uh, hook coming in. We'll see if they can pick up the Null Bay, but he's oh. just he's just there. Nope. Oh, and a hook okay. comes out on the Oriana. She gets picked up again. It's like, if they had gold in their pockets, that fight goes well. But they don't, so it doesn't. They just can't do enough damage. Yeah. I mean, it's it's hard to, to get a good look. I think, I mean, the victor was great, right? Like, that was a good yeah. kill. Yeah. It's a great pick. Then they go around and they're they're hitting the things they need to hit, but they just can't finish them off. 
And look how fast they finish off yeah. this. And they're doing a barren 20, 20, 21 minutes in. 20 yeah. minutes and 58 seconds. That's uh, We'll have to see what the barren power play is in about three minutes. Do you have but that? It's, it's not looking good. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I know you have like extra graphics and stuff in there, but yeah, no, 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 that, no like, That's very impressive. <laughs> uh, I, I have really the team the fight Red UI. Bull, the I, Red Bull power. <laughs> I, I, I have the team fight UI, but it doesn't work, so I'm not using it. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. The like HP bars don't work for some reason. Yeah, it's like gray, right? It's yeah. It's like a small gray one. Yeah, yeah, I saw that too. It's unfortunate, but. Anyway, that's all we got to talk about. So I feel like <laughs> at this point, all red team can do is set up a cheese bush. Oh my god, look at that. Pick, One axe uh, gets him almost to 50% HP. There's the hook that connects. Another kill for Draven. 13-0. and Oh boy. And now that the chem drake is up and you've got those vision fields, even if soul's not up, it's very, very hard to play around. Like, that is probably the most oppressive part of chem drake is just those vision fields that like you need to have such good vision and it's so hard to have good vision when those things are up i mean like tupac was saying though maybe they can use that to their advantage right like if if they catch him on a weird mm -hmm. um, yeah just before like a word to sit in the bush right exactly on a weird like you know, tempo easy pick timing. let's yeah. see they're they trying to get draven there he's playing super aggressively he just gets <laughs> oh, he flashes away. He, he got lanterned out first. Now he flashes, pops the lifeline. He's still auto-attacking. They're really trying. He's burning. Oh. He gets a kill while he's running away. So Someone's going to pick him up. Zaya gets the shutdown. He's still... He's shut down, and he still has a 700 gold bounty on him, ladies and gentlemen. They're trying to continue the fight. Sly Little Fox oh. is trying to pick up the kill. He <laughs> dies to the death storm. They're trying to keep fighting in the jungle, just noodling at each other right now. Tom Kench is actually going to be able to pick one up. Victor's going to get a double kill. They'll maybe be able to pick up the Tom Kench. Yes, they are. Oriana's the only one to walk away. Going to have to defend her base. Look, I don't have the Baron power play graphic, but it wasn't great. <laughs> I mean, that's what you want to see from the Blade Dancers, yeah. right? I mean, 1,000 gold shot on Draven, right? That's a big thing. Yeah. Uh, the Zaya was able to get that. That's definitely going to help her out. I mean, it's, it's like you were saying with the last fight that happened in the top jungle. If maybe the gold lead wasn't as far apart as it is, uh, that fight that looks pretty, you know, pretty good for Ionia, maybe like is a straight up win, right? Yeah. If they're not down 15k gold at 23 minutes um if maybe these cs numbers were a little bit closer together uh you know if maybe they didn't give up so many kills early on um maybe that fight that you know goes even actually you know turns into a win for you i'm not sure why draven was playing so aggressively after having just taken a lantern as well but you know? You're not sure why Draven was playing so aggressively? Yeah, I don't know. You've never, uh, you've never hey, had that many kills on Draven before? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, he goes and kills the Tom Kench really quick. Slide old Fox is forced to uh, pop the ult. Just dies uh, immediately. If kills anyone now. understands why Draven was playing like that, it's you. <laughs> uh, and now uh, now Kale is kind of a force to be reckoned with. She's, uh, she's almost level 16. She's starting to do damage. Yeah, Kale is killed now. So... We get to the point in the cast where we have to ask the question, how do the Blade Dancers come back? Because Ori just ulted just to clear a wave, and Thresh took literally no damage. So Draven has a flash right now. I feel like that'd be the one thing that can capitalize on if they That's do. True. But again, getting on him is going to be so hard with the hey, Thresh. And they got a bounty bot uh, taking their first tower of the game. So hooray, right? Cheesy. Losing an inhib top, losing an inhib mid, getting a hook oh. on the Tom Kench. Thresh flashes away. There's a pillar that comes into the middle of the team, but nothing comes of it. We'll have to see if Nautilus tries to pop ult on Draven. There it comes. Knocks him up. Nobody's following, though. And the Nautilus hook goes wide. Draven's stepping up real aggressively. Kathan so just want to start playing the saying hello. A lot of damage coming out from both teams, honestly. Oh, my God. Draven and Kale are just doing so much damage. And the Kale, like I said, she's doing damage now. She's here to play. Trundle says GG already. I think that's I think that's it. That's game. Yeah, looks like they're yeah, going to end here. A five-man root, by the way, from that Zaya there. And, uh, yeah. But through the – unfortunately, it's not a stun. It is a root. Kale and Draven right. are ranged. They can keep attacking. Yeah, for 
Ah, uh, timing diff on the Nautilus there. Doesn't get the uh, stopwatch. I think you just two walled on him. That's crazy. Sixty. <laughs> like, what do you what do you do against that? Sixty thousand gold <laughs> to thirty eight thousand gold. What an absolute stomp. Yeah, that's uh that's a difficult game for sure. All right. Um Well, look guys, I don't wanna sound uh what's the word? I don't want to see. I, I don't want to. I don't want to sound like I'm pandering to the crowd, but I I think Draven is MVP. I think you would be correct in saying that, um, and I don't think it's even close. Uh, yeah, I think uh, when you see a 17 and one Draven, it's. Uh, I mean, as a Draven player, that's that's what I wanted to see. I asked him to play Draven. That's what I wanted to see, and it happened. So I'm happy. But it feels bad to play against. So. 17 and one. Yep, it's a huge game by him. All right, well, GG to both teams. Nox's Black Rose ticks another win onto their record, and Blade Dancers are, I don't know their one, record. 1-1. One. One, one. One, one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, yeah, thank you. Monkey. Thank you all for joining us. Kev, Tupac, thank you. I appreciate thank you, you guys. Yeah. Have a good night. Goodbye.